Breaking news, according to Terrence Crawford training partner Steven Nelson, he has suggested that Crawford is insisting the Errol Spence rematch happens at welterweight 147, or not at all. The contract allows the first fight loser to activate the rematch clause, but the winner gets to decide the second fight weight. That being said, ESPN reported that Crawford is doing this in order to get more money out of Errol Spence in the rematch, which makes sense. Clearly, there's a loophole in the contract that Crawford is taking advantage of since Crawford was the winner. So he gets to decide where the weight is, not Errol Spence. So if Errol Spence want to fight at 154, perhaps Crawford is going to make him take even less money to do so. A lot of you guys have been upset about the news, flooding my comment section, trying to get my opinion on it. And at the end of the day, business is business. This is a dirty game. Crawford learned the dirty business of boxing because they worked on him. So he had to learn it the hard way. Now everything Crawford learned, he's using it on Errol Spence, which is gonna come back in full circle when Crawford wants something PBC has. And that's the winner of Canelo versus Charlo. I mean, ultimately, if Crawford wants to fight the winner of Canelo versus Charlo at 168, he might want to start bulking up now. Which, if he want to do that, it doesn't make sense for him to make 147 in December. So you guys see the point. It makes sense for Crawford to fight Errol Spence in December at 154. In order to get adjusted to that way, then five months later, Crawford can bulk up two weights more to fight the winner of Canelo versus Charlo. That way, Crawford gets to hit two birds with one stone. He gets to stay active and test out the waters at 154 before making the jump to 168. But to make 147 for the Errol Spence rematch in December, just to come back and fight Canelo Alvarez or Charlo at 168 five months later, we're talking about Crawford have to move up three weight divisions. That will be a disaster and taxing on Crawford body. That's why I believe this is only a leverage move to get more money out of Errol Spence. That being said, if I was in Crawford's shoes, what I would do instead of trying to get more money out of Errol Spence is try to work out a deal with PBC and Al Heyman to where they semi can guarantee me the winner of Canelo versus Charlo on paper for some type of guarantee money in exchange for the Aerospins rematch to happen at 154. I think that's the best way to go. That being said, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Andreas Evans, the sport of yours. Uh, just off the air, he said he hopes to get the rematch and he'd like to have the rematch at 154 pounds. Might be interested in moving up the way for the rematch and does it have to be at 47? Definitely don't have to be at 47. Like I said, you know, uh, I'm, I'm in a hurt business. 47 was kind of hard for me too. I was already talking about moving up in Vegas and challenging Charlo. So 54 is going to be our reacher. Uh, Terrence, Keith Ayer from BoxingScene.com. Congratulations on a great performance. Was it even easier than you expected it to be once you were in there? Never. Like I said, we trained so hard in training camp that it made it look easy in the ring. But these fights are never easy. These fights are very extremely hard because we put our body on through the most in training camp. And I worked my ass off to get to where I'm at today to perform in front of each and every one of y'all. I even did things that look was different this fight. You know, we did a pre camp came out to Vegas, stayed for a month. You know, so I've been working for a long time for just, for just this one moment. So it's never easy. At which point in the fight did you realize that he wasn't going to be able to do anything with him tonight? Well, the first round, I, I felt as if I had the speed and uh, power. I felt, you know, uh, his power. And I felt as if I was the stronger fighter. And, uh, yeah, that's what that pretty much was it.
Andrew Jones, ESPN, ESPN, Terrence Gitsy, congratulations on a special night. Roy Jones Jr. told me yesterday that if you won this fight, that you would be up here as one of the all-time best pound for pound. You talked about Andre Ward, Floyd Mayweather era, now your era. Where do you rank yourself in the all-time pound for pound after tonight? And who came up with the fishnet idea to walk out?